case. I'm going to be recording on my side. In fact, I've started the recording on my side right now. I, I use an application called OBS to make recordings. And that's so that this will be available for other people in case they want to see how the Agora works and all of that. So, uh, just as a preliminary, um, in the end, the, the, uh, the linkage between the discourse discussion site and the WordPress blog site never did succeed. And it looks like it never will. Um, so for a single sign-on, uh, I'll look at something different. We'll talk about that. But everything is up and working, and I'll guide you through the site. Uh, and, and you'll be able to see all the functionality. Sounds good? Yeah. All right. Good. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Screen two. No, this one. Screen one. Okay, share. Okay. So you're seeing the Agora site. And uh, this is the main... Transnational one, right? The, the this, is, this is the transnational site. And this is the... Uh, the uh, Barcelona site. So when you send a student to Agora, you would send it, uh, if you're coming in from the uh, Spanish site, you would send them to this URL, which is agora.democrathorizon.eu slash UB. Um, the student, once they log in, I'll just make this so it looks a bit better here for you guys on the screen. There we go. The student, when they log in, uh, they'll select their language, either Spanish or Catalan. Either way, it's up to them. Um, and at this point, of course, they have a choice. And, and that's the whole idea of the Agora is that it presents a bit of a menu for you. Typically, they would go into the blog first to see what's been posted most recently. These are the uh, posts in the blog. Um, and again, we have the Spanish here. And if they switch to Catalan, um, are we in Catalan? Okay. Then we see the Catalan blog. Um, so the blog posts are here. These are the most recent posts. There's a link to the full blog here. And here's the link to the archives, and this will continue to add up. I know these all say 5 2024 because these were all added recently as we transitioned from the multi site to a standalone blog for each of the Catalan and the WordPress. And again, the multi site uh, had issues with the uh, discourse um, and also with the login. Uh, with just so you know with the multi-site the way it and I investigated this thoroughly um, There's only one login for multiple sites and that login would only be in English uh, Which is obviously unacceptable uh, for non-English speaking sites and Therefore I've split apart the different WordPress sites so that the logins will be in the appropriate language when they click on a post they're taken to that post. So here's the post in Catalan. There is an option to log in here. There are the links to the other uh, parts, the uh, Democrat, this is, goes to the main website. Um, Agora takes us back to Agora. Uh, blog takes us to the, uh, the full blog and partners takes us to a partner list. Uh, if you don't like those particular options, those are easy to change, but uh, that's the best guidance I've received thus far. Uh, reading down here, uh, you can see the date in the proper language, the uh, author, in this case me, because I moved them all over, and the category, if there's a category, and the option to comment down below. Now, if they're logged in, 
uh, they don't need to uh, log in again. Um, if they want to log out, they can do that as well. So they enter their comment. Right, and we enter the comment. Okay, now the comment at this point needs to be approved. We have content moderation in place. So um, this will be sent to the administrator for the particular website. It should show up in my email here momentarily. And it's not showing up in my email, which is not a good sign. Uh, perhaps I don't have it turned on here. Let's come back here. Where it shows up eventually as well in the Agora is here. No, it hasn't shown up yet. If we look at the uh, Spanish site, we can see some comments recently in the Spanish site. It would take a couple seconds for it to show up here for review. If I enter a comment on the Spanish site, so we'll go to the blog, enter this. Hello, Spanish world. And again, the, the comment is posted. We see it here. And if we come back to the Agora, right, and again, we need to, uh, oh, let me reload this. Stephen, I'm not sure now, you, you are in the blogs and you write in uh, comments under one blog and it is supposed mm -hmm. to also appear in community, yes. uh, right? The same comment, but under yes. what? Because you cannot yeah. then have a coherent discussion in the community forum, but you have it broken down according to block responses. That's it's right. It's not, I mean, you can see them, but you mm -hmm. don't really have a discussion, right? The, uh, well, that's exactly it, right? So uh, the way community works is it shows all recent comments for all blogs, right? It's a way to keep up. If you click on the comment, this is the one that I just entered here, right? Okay, that takes you into this discussion. Now we can have this discussion on this blog. To start the discussion, then we have to start the blog or we can start it also in community. Okay. Well, that's also an option that you have. Um, so let's come back to the Agora. Now, if we want, we can access the community and the community is available. And if you would like that link to go directly to, whoops, not there, directly to the, the UB community. It can be uh, it can be set this way. Now, right now, we are not seeing this on the Spanish Agora because there's nothing here. However, if we look at the English, the the uh, transnational Agora, so we'll just let's close some windows here. And how much of this, if you can tell us, is password enabled, or you just send somebody to the Agora and they can write the comments to the blogs or the community and they appear, yeah. right? Irrespective. That's, yeah, you, you have to, for, for both the community and the blog, in order to post a comment, you need to log in. Uh, so it's not the whole world, right? So you need to log in. However, you can for both of those register yourself to log in. So here's okay. here's the uh, here's the transnational. As you can see, it's set up the same way. These are oops. Oh, oh how weird. Oh there we go. Um, so here and this is in fact a, a comment that Diana made just before our meeting today, right? So Again, just like before, we have the blog posts and we can have the conversation below the blog post, right? But also, 
we have the community which is available and again here's join the community forum and these links point to forum topics in the community for example the general discussion there it is also any new posts that were posted in the discourse community show up here now i have not currently enabled this for the spanish site if the spanish site would like this enabled tell me it's easily enabled uh, but right now my understanding is that the spanish uh, site is not using this discourse forum that's that's a decision for you to make but they, again if i click on the link here now I'm taken into the Agora community discussion site. And uh, again, I can add comments. If I'm not logged in, then I log in. Uh, if I do not have a, an account, I create an account. So let me log out here and you'll see what that looks like. So here I am logged out. Right, so I can uh, look at something if I want to reply. Here I need to log in or I can create an account. And now this is a this is a discourse specific account. It's not the same account as the WordPress. If it's not the same as the blogs then. The blogs are under WordPress. Yeah, the blogs are separate accounts. Um, but they're both you can register for both on your own. You don't need to have like, Joanna Doni approve for that's exactly right um, so I'll show you here we go to the blogs okay uh, I'll go to one of the blog posts okay I'll log out okay and now if I go to log in I can register as a new user on this site Sim and the, exactly the same for the uh, the Spanish and Catalan blogs. And now, if you if you have selected Spanish here, you'll go to the Spanish blog. If you've selected Catalan here, you'll go to the Catalan blog. So let's go to the Spanish blog. Here's the Spanish blog. I'll log out, and now. If I want to make a comment, right, I can log in. And again, I can, uh, Spanish isn't great, so I have to think a second. I can log in as a new user and even specify my own language. So that's the blog part. Um, down the line, depending on, on how much time and resources I have, it's a possibility to enable both discourse and the blog site with uh, a single sign-on provided by, for example, Google or Facebook or others. I don't know what the European regulations are regarding enabling single sign-on with, say, Google. Uh, I will leave that for you to advise me. Um, and if, if you want that enabled, that is a possibility. But that is up to you. I can't make that decision. Any questions so far? Oh, okay, we proceed then to uh, the Agora again. Okay, um, next is the Agora TV. This works as it has always worked. Here is the Spanish language version of it. We have the uh, individual recordings that are made if you click on the recording this takes us to the pure tube site where you may watch the recording with subtitles um do i have subtitles i'm not sure that's what i saw at some point oh yes we have subtitles here this 
uh, was provided, the subtitles were provided by Jose. So that's not something that I did. Jose Luis or Jose. Uh, okay. So, but yeah, that's great. So, and, uh, and similarly with the, uh, the national Agora or sorry, the transnational Agora, it works the same way. Um, do you need to be registered to access those or not? No, those are all the content you can read without or view without registering. There's no login in order to view. There's only login required to create new content. To contribute, to create. Right. Yes, right. Now, for the video to create new content, that is limited to the project team. Uh, people cannot come Makes in and, and register and create their own videos on our site because that would be bad. <laughs> and the library the same uh, the okay. material there? So with respect to the library, um, and it works the same in English as in Spanish and Catalan. So here is the, the Spanish version of the library. And here is the, uh, where'd it go? Catalan. Here's the Catalan. Okay. Now there's two parts to this on the one part are the local resources on the other part are the Zenodo resources. Um, the local resources are created in WordPress. Um, and I'll just show you that so you can see it very quickly. Um, So this would be an administrator, in your case, Jose, or myself, but, but it'd probably be Jose, can add media, uh, add media to the library folder. And um, so you just need to, I think that says add new media. Yes. So you select your file um, and then you can give it some metadata such as a description or an image and when you when Jose or anybody adds media here it shows up automatically in this list and so these are the three resources that have been uploaded in Catalan already so there's there's one of these for the Catalan blog and there's another one for the Spanish language blog and I have to log in the tiles be different a bit or not or color or i don't know just to the uh, the tiles depend on whether an image has been provided with the resource right because you know it has to come from somewhere um and what what you're seeing here is i'm typing a password and talking at the same time what you're seeing here are, are default images. So here's the library for the Spanish one, right? So if I click on this, right? So here's the description, etc. So uh, right now they just show a default image because I don't have an image for them. If I had an image for the resource, then I could show the specific image for that resource. You, and, you? And, you know, it's kind of boring, but it's better than no. Yes, <laughs> that's what I meant. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, an option, it would take a little doing. I could randomize the image. Um, but really, there needs to be a mechanism to, to actually find the image for the resource. But as, as you can see here, they're, they're just, there's no image. Ask them what did something, yeah. I think. Yeah, yes. uh, you upload directly to WordPress uh, the PDF documents. That's correct. Oh. Yeah. The left is automatic from the node, right? The, the right is... Okay, the, that's for the right-hand side. You upload... You can actually upload any document, uh, PDF, Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, an image, whatever you want. 
and it will show up here. So this is really useful if you want to provide for, uh, you know, my original thinking for this was that um, the different project sites or even the transnational project could provide resources here to help people hold their own living labs. So, you know, perhaps a WordPress template or PowerPoint template that they could fill out on their own or any other sort of resource. Um, if uh, there's no limit to the resource, well, I guess there's some limit. You know, can't upload a virus, but uh, there's no practical limit to what you can load here. The other side is Zenodo. Okay, now you'll notice here that in the the both the Spanish and the Catalan, uh, these are the same links, and there's a reason for that, which I'll come back to. Here in the EU, you've seen these already. Um, these are those other links. Now, the way this works, and, and I'll actually pop into one of them. So here's the resource on Zenodo. When you create the resource on Zenodo, you create a keyword. And I use this keyword to search Zenodo and retrieve the appropriate documents. Now, so far, no keyword has been defined for the Democracy Horizon project. There are no specific ones. So what I'm doing right now in order to demonstrate the capability is for the uh, English one, I'm using the keyword education for democracy. And if we go into the Spanish one, uh, here's one. I'm using the keyword Democracia. And I'm using the same keyword for both um, Spanish and Catalan. Now, if you provide me, now, so when you create a resource, you can give it a Democrat Horizon specific keyword. There, there, there isn't really a limit on the keywords that you can use. So you can you can oh, give it. We have two hashtags: Democrat Horizon, one word for the social media, and yeah. the other education democracy, one word. Yeah. So we could use those. Yeah. Well, yeah, you can use those, but I would recommend using different ones for different languages, so that uh, the the Spanish language site, uh, the Spanish language library, would display resources using the Spanish language hashtag. Mm -hmm. So I would use, for English, I would just use Democrat Horizon as a keyword. Yeah, I think so. Too. Right. For Spanish, I would use Democrat Horizon ES. For Catalan, I would use Democrat Horizon CAT. If you use those keywords, and I can't make you do it, but if you use those keywords, and you tell me those are the keywords you've decided on, then this display here will show the resources that have been uploaded to Zenodo using those keywords. That's how that works. That allows us to publish openly on the Zenodo site, therefore a publication, and still display them here on the Agora and display the appropriate resource. Does that make sense to everyone? Yeah, yeah. It's only that we need uh, this uh, this keyword. Yes. Uh, in English, education yeah. for for democracy seems too well too unspecific. It, too exactly. unspecific. Well, and, Democrat and, Horizon is better because it's project specific. Education for democracy could be other uh, yeah. projects also. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that you can can change the keywords after having uploaded the the documents to to uh -huh. the Senodo. Yeah. Probably I... you need to, to, to create a new document and then you have two ones. And delete the problem. Yeah. Anyhow we need uh, we need to uh, upload later the approved mm -hmm. uh, 
uh, documents, which needs also an endoy, which is generated directly by by Senodo. That's correct. And then uh, it's not necessarily you don't need upload the document and then mm -hmm. create a DOI. You can create first the DOI yeah. and then upload the document. So you have time to include the the number in the document and then yeah. upload the PDF document. Yeah. So that that's okay. So we we need here to to see which which general keyword we will use for the Senado documents. Well, for for the Spanish one probably well you, you need then also <clears throat> probably six different if if all will is functioning yeah uh, seven different keywords which must be included in the sonoda that's right for the different language Paint with the english one yeah uh let's see there's so uh, well english i mean the irish can just use the transnational one if they want Oh, yes, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have yeah, German, yeah. Polish, Estonian, Spanish, Catalan. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. I missed one. No, and Finnish. Six. German. Uh, and English is seven. Yeah. yeah. There's all seven altogether. Yeah. Seven, you're right. Yeah. I always forget the Finns. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Finland. It's okay. So, they're unforgettable. So far, so good. <laughs> yeah all right so we're almost done so you don't have events here right uh, right no no it. no yeah so for the spanish i was requested not to put in the events that's why we have the nifty um five arrangement penta here. point there yes penta point uh which was a bit tricky but anyhow <laughs> Uh, but here's the about again the about shows up differently in both the English and the Catalan we get the correct language um, I'm actually probably going to do a tweak a little bit later to get rid of that oh I did that I did that tweak already <laughs> uh, I was gonna get rid of the slider bar but it's there were two slider bars but now there's only one so <laughs> for the events just so that you you have full uh, comprehension here so this is the events for the transnational uh, so similarly with the the media and and this is available to you if you want it uh, where did my sorry I'm looking for my uh, admin screen I don't need this in auto anymore uh, oh right I logged out that's what happened <laughs> okay so let's see All right. yeah I'm not a fan of democrat hyphen horizon as a url you have no idea how many times I've typed that <laughs> Okay, but uh, oop, not admin. It's always a bad idea to make your admin in WordPress admin. Uh, so this is the uh, administration. Oops. This is the ad administration screen for. Um, events again for wordpress yeah so this is for the transnational it's also available in the catalan and spanish blogs it's you know i don't need to add anything it's already in there um but uh sure if you click on but there's event, no tile to express it right? there's no tile to express it because it wasn't wanted but if you did want it all I would have to do is add the tile. It would, it's a very short process. Mm -hmm. So uh, Venina, as you can see, has access to this. Uh, add a new event. Here's the information, including stuff on the side, uh, including feature image, which I always encourage people to do so that we'll have an image to show people on the Agora site when a new event is added. 
it automatically shows up right here. Okay, let's... Okay. Escuchamos algo de que... We have work here and, and workers in the, in, the, in the flat, so... Understood. Uh, yeah. Okay, I was just making sure I wasn't interrupting anyone. Um, now, the, the event video, um, you, you may have seen from before, we uh, had a live event in Zoom. Um, Zoom for us is set up so that uh, we can record the event live in or broadcast the event live in YouTube as well. And this is captured from YouTube. Um, it's the latest event video um, from YouTube. And as we have more events, we'll see the listing of those events below. But right now we only have one event, so we only see one video. We could have something from uh, the Tallinn conference also eventually right there, which is past events, but yeah. uh, I don't know. Yeah, we are stuck a bit with those videos. I don't know what to yeah we're we've got a lot of flexibility here um we don't have to advertise only our own events we can put other people's events in there um we can uh link to youtube there's a, you know i can link to anything in youtube and display it anywhere basically it's it's not a hard process um so if there was uh you know and th this also is the case for watch if there was a request to have a list of YouTube videos or a display of a YouTube video, uh, that's easily done. There's a, I have a function that will grab the video display in the appropriate place. But then we would so, need something like a band to differentiate. Uh, yeah, like, we'd, like we'd have to differentiate. Kind of yeah, but uh, right now there's no need for that. But uh, yeah, if... Uh, if that was requested, we would talk about how they would be differentiated. But anything that's publicly available on, on YouTube can be shown in the Agora. Uh, so we, us, go ahead, Karsten. So we, we have now, with regard to two videos, we have to, two channels. We use PearTube and we use YouTube. Right, we, well, we, we have access to both, yes. Yeah. Well, this makes sense. And we store on yeah. Peertube? Or, or how does it work? Yeah. Well, I mean, if you don't want to use, well, in your case, the Spanish one only uses Peertube. What? The, the Spanish Agora only uses Peertube. You're not using YouTube yes. for anything right now. Yeah. Right. Okay. If you want it, it's there. But you don't have to use it. <laughs> Similarly, if you want to use only YouTube, we could do that too, and you wouldn't have to use the peer tube. That's up to you. Yeah. But right so, now, it's using peer tube. And the reason why it's using peer tube is because the service is hosted in Europe. It's completely under our own management. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's, yeah, yeah. I, I, we will never see a YouTube advertisement on it. Yeah, I, I, I remember. No, so that's okay. Yeah. Only a question. Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, the, the scroller thing works as well. Um, it could also work for the uh, Spanish Catalan site. You notice it isn't there. What the scroller thing needs is um, a set or a listing Um, so I define them. Oops. Am I, I'm in the right file. Yes. They have to be programmed or do you get them from a feed? Those things. So, uh, yeah, I, I define them. I define them in the web page itself in your index page. So I'm just, here we go. 
So basically, there's one of these for each thing. I require uh, an image, a URL, and a title for anything you want. It could be the order. same. It could, could be. be the same as transnational, but then just translated, or they can be different, right? They can, they can be different. It's unique for each uh, site. Um, it can be uh, unique as well for uh, uh, Spanish language and Catalan language um, sites. Um, but which, which uh, tool is that? Which platform that you do that from? So that's on the Agora platform, and uh, I use a I use a, a, a program or function called Slick in order to do it, and uh, it's well heavily modified to make it work properly. You may recall before we had these flashes and images and all of that. Well, that's what it work. That's how it works out of the box. <laughs> So I've made some modifications to it so that it, it works properly. So, uh, and Georgios as well for the transnational, these need to be updated as well so that we're not advertising conferences that took place. Exactly, I saw it, that's yeah. past. Yeah. So, yeah. and again, I made these up, right? Because I did not have the input for this. So these are just things that I chose but really the proper people to be deciding what goes in this thing is you guys and so you need to provide me with that True. and vanina helping also with the community is something yeah that's correct so uh i can put anything in there um but i just need to know what to put in um but that's why like there's i had no information what to put in the spanish one and i couldn't come up with ideas by myself of what the appropriate Spanish language resources would be to put in there. Like living lab coming up or event coming up or yeah, something. Or right? whatever. Yeah. So whatever. new so, publication. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's again, that's what you would need to provide. Um, that's the Agora. That's everything. Um, it all works. It's all stable. Um, it can be used now. You do have some options uh, that you can exercise. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm basically re in the process of replicating the same functionality with the standalone blogs for the other national sites. Although, of course, they don't have any content yet. But I think as this gets easier for them to use, they may well provide more content as well. Um, and we're thinking of a training session in Dublin in person, yeah. maybe, and also online, right? That's correct. So, so the the uh, what what uh, what's worrying us is that in the last weeks it was not very stable. Yeah. So that some some content go out, some time some content disappeared, reappeared. Yeah. And 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 so on. Uh, you're sure now that this is stable this is stable all the problems were caused by that connection between discourse and wordpress and yeah. it was just it was it was fundamentally broken and yeah. it was broken in a way i mean it's broken deep inside the plugin itself it's not code huh. that i've written and broken in a way that i haven't been able to find a way around um which means i think which means there probably isn't a way around um yeah so i would recommend using a single sign-on service like google or whatever perhaps uh open id uh although i'm not sure if both wordpress and discourse support open id but something like that uh, supported by both would probably be the best approach. Yeah. It's so much effort to keep it open source, etc. Because we promised that I think also in the project yeah. uh, proposal. Yeah. Now to put Google yeah. top it may sound weird. Uh, yeah, but, yeah. So I'm, 
if there is another yeah. way to combine yeah and that that's what i'm looking into but um but we are where we are right now there's nothing is going to be put in place until it's thoroughly tested elsewhere and i know how it works and then i can bring it in and implement it here without disruption so but, the disruption is bad <laughs> at, at this moment i i i i prefer to have a no more change at this moment if this works yep probably only right. the one the the because we we need to to uh to start it really and mm -hmm. uh, to ha have it stable and that the people can use it and can see it and and and, and so on yeah and what i want to ask you now is only to say what you need from our part to have these a new new band here on the top if you can write it down i so will write that it we can i will give you the list yeah 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 so that jose luis or any anybody mm -hmm. else who will be the moderator yeah. can 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 make it yeah and the rest seems seems clear uh, john antoni it's clear for you uh, yes for me only one question when mm -hmm. for example uh, we have a teacher that uh, can take part in the blog yeah when his teacher create the the, the new con in the in the wordpress who is the person that uh, recite the message you jose luis um oh when somebody creates a comment in wordpress who receives no it? when create the the con for example uh, one teacher uh, uh want to to make a a, a comment in a blog yeah an article or a comment because there is a difference you want an article or a comment no no in a comment because if i understand uh correctly yeah when uh, there are uh, some uh, teacher or some person that is uh, the nice uh, staff of the partnership yeah uh, can uh, can see i can read the blog and uh, if uh, she or he won uh, he can uh, do a comment but it's necessary to log her in a wordpress and it's necessary register in this account uh, the agora i don't know it's agora ub, mm -hmm. UB or another agora uh, but who is who recite the this message that uh, for example custom uh, register account let's try to do it to, to see it in yeah. practice on la, on the screen if you don't mind mm -hmm. because i also was thinking shall we do it here in the transactional agora uh you can do it in either one right now uh i am the administrator for these sites so i will receive any notification mm -hmm. uh and uh jose will also receive them um once I make him an admin on the uh, Catalan WordPress site as well. So okay. here we, we can even see, for example, uh, we had a new user registration. This is mm -hmm. me testing it. This is me changing yeah. my password. <laughs> but uh, you, 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 does you it need approval? Yeah, here's sorry. the moderation of Diana's con comment. But anyway, you, 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 you when you want to make a comment to a blog, you yes. only need to put a name and the electronic uh, address email direction. Right. And you do not need to be re registered. I uh, don't think so. registration. Okay. okay, so let's let's. Well, I'm I'm, I'm now. I I try to make a comment to saying I have no comment with right. my name with another. Uh, electronic Email. directions and i will send it now okay good and we have to see does it need approval by somebody like jose luis or or steven or it is a matter of i'm waiting time? for it to show up in my email okay but the person who did it does not know the background right that does not know the bms here it is uh, you see this i don't know if you can see it uh democrat ES, yes we can all right so pendentist moderation. Sorry about the bad yeah. 
And you have to approve it. Pendientes de moderacion. How's that? Okay. So now I received this. Jose will also receive this when he is an admin. I click here. The comment has been approved. Right. Also, yeah. when when I can, as an administrator, I can just log in here, and I'll see all of the com comments, and I can choose to uh, approve them, delete them, whatever, declare them as spam, whatever I want. So now that I have approved it, we'll come back to the Agora. Okay. And you can see it normally there, right? Uh, that's correct. So, but the thing is, you can check like this also if they say nonsense or they uh, whatever they use bad words yeah. or something. Yeah. So I'm just yeah, re yeah. reloading the page here so that we see it. it needs to be in the right language. Yeah, and that was under one of the topics uh, on uh, the blogs. Yeah. It was in the Spanish one, I believe. No, I, yeah, Laboratorios Vivens. Okay. So, yeah, it's, it's a Spanish one. Okay. It should be showing Which, us. Whoops, that's not right. No, it's a blog. Yeah. It's in the blogs. It should be in both places, but you remember which of the blogs? A Laboratorio yeah, Vivens. Yeah, okay. this one. All right. What a. Aparece at the top or down? Well, maybe if you don't accept the commentary, the comment, uh, that doesn't appear. No? Yeah, yeah, if I... I yes, but he did accept it. Oh, yes. did I? Is That's approved, approved right? Back. Yes, right. that's approved. Democrat ES, so it should be there. Let's check my... Uh, Yes, commentarios. There's your comment. Approve. Yeah. No, now it is. Okay. So it, it hadn't been approved. That's the problem. Uh, okay. So now we come back to the Agora. I'll just reload the and page. refresh. Yeah. Yeah. You have to refresh because it depends on a page refresh. It's not a live push that would be craziness <laughs> so i i let's see, see. <laughs> ah, to, well. to see that you have approved it i need to refresh the the uh, the the page that's right yeah it's not automatically well so so to to to, to say to explain it i still have in my screen this to commentarios a pendiente de moderación yeah. So I need to, 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 to upload it again or to refresh it and then it will change. Yeah, no, but you won't see it immediately. Eh? You you yeah. make that comment and then an hour later, whenever Jose Luis sees it and he's approved it, yeah. you don't wait there for it to appear, right? Yeah, no, you wouldn't because it's going to take some time for people to moderate it. You saw here even it took me a few minutes to moderate it. It's standard. It's not for any, no publication is immediate, these things. Even in New York Times, I've written some mm -hmm. comments under their articles. It takes a while. But I... When you go back, I, normally I, your system will update. Will Yeah, but I must go back. You leave it and two hours later, you check again whether it disappears there. Yeah, right? yeah. I'm, I'm only asking if, if I'm... Yes. It has to oh, be yeah, approved. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, no, it's okay. Yeah. No, it's okay. And and the administration, administrator and moderator can also delay? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You have full control over the comments. Yeah. Very important. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this can also change later that that if we were very, very successful and there will be a very uh, lively uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 comments to the blogs. 
uh, well, I, I don't believe there will be more than one a, a day, but imagine you have uh, 100 a day. Yeah. Then it will be a nightmare for for the moderator to to approve all of this. Uh, if you... That's quite right. And there are, I mean, other WordPress sites have dealt with this. Um, there are automatic spam deletion systems. There's a, a service called Akeesmet, which is widely used. It's a commercial service, which is why we're not using it at the moment. Uh, but but it will basically eliminate the flow of spam. Um, and then you can automate the approval process. But uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. No, but this later on, we will see it. Yeah, that's a bridge yeah. we'll cross if we get to it. <laughs> yeah. And so, if you needed the real forum, which is lively, that you, mm -hmm. you write to each other comments, that's Slack, that's something else, I suppose. Yeah. And that has to be there for registered people only, right? Yeah. Maybe. With, with, you know, yeah, and that, that's the other thing. Like with the forum, it's a bit different because the comment will show up right away. And uh, yeah, it's a it's a lot more lively. So what is that forum then? That forum is internal though. Is it on the next cloud or what? Uh, no, this is discourse. It's it's the external forum that I tried to connect to our blog post, but was not able to. But yeah. if if you want like a real back and forth discussion, you can have it in discourse. If you're worried about uh, external people coming in you can set you can create a category um and and make it private so here here we have like ub as a category you could make a private category so again but that's that's the sort of thing if we wanted to have these really wild discussions with hundreds of people then we'd use this more but right now the, so, the, the blog comments are perfectly sufficient for what we're doing. So the the when I know I'm 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 in these these block mm -hmm. and there is these these function uh, to access. I don't know what it's now in English. Accedere to 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 go in and yeah, to access it. Yeah. Yeah. This is not the same uh, references like in the in the discourse. And this is another one. So, okay, you're you're talking about. No, I'm I, I'm I'm now in these living in the in the in the block of the living labs. Yes, he's asking about the community part, right? The yeah. Community tile. Yeah. No, and in, 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 no, I'm I'm in no. the block uh, part. Okay. In the block block part, and when you go then to to the same the laboratory we went to. Yes, yeah. go to yeah. the top. Yeah, go to the top. The first one. Meaning, no, 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 click on oh, the yeah. Yeah. Okay, we went this. Okay. Yeah. Click, okay. click. Yes. So. You will see it. No, yeah. You have there, uh, Salia. I have now Accedere. Go in. Right. So. When, right. when it's the same password like in the in the discourse. No. But not, it, well, it, okay. it's, it's, this is your password for WordPress. So you can see, see you have Exedir. This is a WordPress login. Yeah. But that's not as a user. It's just only for the person responsible for uploading and, and agreeing, this accepting for, the comments. No, this is for anyone who wants to make a comment in WordPress. If they log in, they don't need to fill out their name all the time. Oh, OK. Yeah, okay. So, so you create an account with uh, WordPress. Now let me try to type in my password correctly. Otherwise, you can every time put your name yeah. and uh, See, now, address. see, I've logged in. I've got Salir up there instead. But when I rolled, scroll down here, right, now it tells me oh, yeah. I'm already logged in. So I just comment. I don't need to type my name every time. So it makes it easier. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I okay. Know. 
it yeah, would be nice if enough. it was all just one login is but uh <laughs> it's a problem that's defeated a lot of people not just yeah. me <laughs> yeah okay that's okay for me good yeah yeah this was the answer to, to your question john antoni no i don't have a question now no this one your answer is question uh, is uh, yes question. yes the, my question yeah. is uh, yes uh, is this is necessary to create a wordpress uh, account uh -huh. or not so yes. uh, now i see that it's not necessary right. but if you have account uh, it's more easy to make a more comment not no yeah. because all the time you'd uh, have to put the name and your email yeah. if you have a com a comment so okay yeah yeah okay that's it for my point I, I, who I would you no like to use it sorry what and um, how many people you see it using it and whom would you encourage to use it i mean we want comments to the blogs, right? Mm -hmm. It needs language to create communities and all that. And of course, the more advanced ones from within the group or whatever. I believe we will be, be first all the people who are now interested in our project to collaborate with us, the teachers. And we are in discussion. We, we have uh, on the 15th of uh, May the next workshop, which is also considered as a, a continuous training activities, and then we must have a look on it. How we, which are the the requisite to be certificated as, as such, which tasks they need to do, not only to be on the on on online on the course, but also making one or another task. I believe I, I asked it uh, to to Stephen if we can uh, make a control who who really is using the Agora, but he said it's very difficult. And so one one possibility which we have in mind, but we must discuss it, is that they probably need to to write a blog, right? A blog about their experience and and, and so on, and uh, so. This will be then easier for us, for John Antoni and me. And so we do not mm -hmm. write so many blogs because they will write the blogs. Uh, but this is, is one idea. And then to see, to animate them to, it depends what we are putting there. Yeah. That's it. That's it. It's, it's uh, for example, I believe that uh, in the, uh, we need to put, uh, also probably some description of their projects in the in the library as mm -hmm. documents or as blogs we we, we we need to discuss it and then that they answer to 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 the different uh this could be a measure to animate the the participation you know i saw that there in in uh, barcelona there is this project called the palumba i think and they have, it's like Tinder, which I've not used, I've used other services, you know, to match people. And you can choose uh, partners according to your political <laughs> beliefs. So you uh, answer some questions and then they see that you're closer to the socialists and they match you with socialists or whatever. Yeah. And that is supposed to encourage people for the elections. And it's partly also European Union funded. Hmm. That's yeah. something that somebody could write a blog about or yeah. present. I don't know, maybe. Yeah. So, so my, my, my daughter has, has made me this gift. Max I, Fisher. I yeah, what? You can see it? No, it keeps it's a going. It's, it's, it, it's, it's, from, it, it, it's from a type called Max Fisher, who calls uh, it, in Spanish, it's the, the rats or the, the networks of cows <laughs> and about how, yeah, the cows meshing, the inside story of how social media rewired our minds and our worlds. Oh, yeah. And so after having started to read it, I'm still more refusing all social media. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
And yeah. in the in the Spanish newspaper in, in this weekend, there was uh, in El País there was a reference to an American author. I don't remember now its name. He said that uh, using the social media, at least in the, the United States, the mental health of the youth is declining. So it makes makes us crazy, makes the people crazy who are working a lot in social media. On the screen all the time. My nephew yeah. is six years old and he's playing on the screen all the time since he was three yeah. or two. So, so, so he, he is a candidate to have, to have men, mental health. <laughs> yes. uh, me, 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 mental illness, mental illness, yeah. so, so depressions and, and so on. It seems they have statistical data on this. Already, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, it's a danger. I would imagine they could find the same statistical data for television. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hopefully not for Star Trek tech watchers. I'm a big Star, yeah. Star Trek watcher. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. <laughs> then we we are we are through. Yeah, we have it. So, if you can show also Maria and anybody else who doubts, at least as a user, how to use it, not to know all the background necessarily. Mm -hmm. And if they are okay with it, then we're really past. I think the yeah. No, no. Then if if. If Stephen assures that it's stable and not will come again disappearing some content and so on, it's then not, we will. It, yeah, yeah. So I promise it, not to touch it unless I'm one hundred and ten percent, ten percent sure that I won't break it. Yeah. So then, <laughs> then we will announce it now, and and then we we hope that there will traffic on the on on, on this platform. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so mm -hmm. fine, at least. Good. Cool. Yeah. Thanks for your patience. Yeah. Thanks. And yeah. Okay.